disheveled all of this, all of this. The neighbors plowed the driveway. And then I shoveled all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this. Hello, folks. I'm making sauerkraut for the first time by myself. So back in October, I visited my family in Colorado for a couple of weeks, and they were making sauerkraut for the first time ever. I decided to just kind of follow exactly what they did, and I bought the same fermentation crock, which is this Home Buddy, and uh, it comes with a little recipe book. I was going to use the recipe that my family used, but I realized I didn't really have all the ingredients. So I'm going to use this German style recipe, which is just cabbage, sea salt, caraway seeds, and peppercorns. So yeah, it calls for one large green cabbage, six and a half to seven pounds, but my cabbages aren't that heavy. Like this is only three pounds and then I'll have to core it. So um, I'm just gonna weigh, once I got it, sh got it shredded, I'm gonna weigh it in this pot here, just to see if I can get six and a half to seven pounds. And so that's what I gotta do first. I've got my crock washed. I've got the ceramic weights washed and dried, and I just need to chop up my cabbage, and then we'll see what happens next. See you in a bit. It says finely shredded cabbage, and I just chopped it really finely. Man, that looks like, they say one large green cabbage, six and a half to seven pounds. Dude, this looks like way bigger than any single big head of cabbage I have ever seen. I think something's wrong. So I don't know, do I just do, do this? Because I weighed this, it's about four pounds of cabbage. And so do I do this like it's a full recipe and do the four tablespoons of salt, two teaspoons of caraway seeds and two teaspoons of peppercorns? Or do I have it? I think what I'm gonna do is a full recipe because this looks, that looks like a cabbage head to me, I'm sorry. So do I put that much sea salt in it? Four tablespoons? Maybe I should go with two tablespoons. Anyway, what you're supposed to do is it says, pound well using a wooden pounder or massage well with your hands. This requires some strength and patience for at least five minutes. And then it says, repeat at least once more to release as much juice as possible. So where did I put my little poundy guy? The crock comes with a little poundy fellow. There's no way. Can I do it in this like bowl like this? Will it kind of smash it down? I don't know. I'm gonna try smashing it. I'm gonna start out with two tablespoons of coarse sea salt. I'm gonna use this salt that I got for a New Year's present. Portuguese flor de sal. <laughs> I'm gonna put two tablespoons in here and try smashing it. And um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I cleaned up the disaster mess that I had going on here. Is this salt coarse enough? It, it might be coarse enough. Tablespoons, that's what they say, tablespoons. Man, that seems like so much salt. I wonder if I should mix it or if I, when I smash it, it'll disperse itself. Okay, we're doing two tablespoons. That may, I mean, maybe that's the thing. That's really maybe not very much salt for all this cabbage, I don't know. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, uh, wow. Oh yeah. for five minutes. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Maybe once I get it smashed down, it won't want to pop off the sides of the bowl. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing this like this. And see what happens. 
Okay, so I ended up putting another tablespoon of salt in for a total of three tablespoons. And you can see the liquid coming out of this. I think that that's probably good enough. I don't know, I did it for maybe 10 minutes or something. Um, yeah, I kind of just taste it as like, is it salty? And I was like, well, yeah, probably it's quite salty actually. But um, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at, at three tablespoons, but I think I'll put in this, the amount of caraway seeds that they're talking about and peppercorns. So they said a teaspoon. Doesn't hardly look like anything and all of that stuff. You'd think it'd be more. They must be right. <laughs> they must know best. Is that it? It doesn't seem like very much. Maybe it's just like it soaks up the flavor. Whoa. <laughs> From the, the spices. So we're gonna go with that. I guess I mix, let me just like, I guess I'll mix this up a little bit so that the peppercorns and the caraway seeds are kind of mixed up in here as I transfer it to the crock. Duh. It says two tablespoons of each. So I want one more tablespoon. That makes way more sense. Okay. <laughs> and peppercorns. Okay, now I'll mix those up and transfer to the crock. Okay, here we go, folks. If you hear the hopping and popping and stuff behind me, that's the rice cooker. Uh, it says, yes, mix in the caraway seeds and the peppercorns. Transfer to fermentation crock, pressing out any air bu bubbles. Oh man, this is gonna be messy. Oh man. Oh, I get use my maybe I use this thing to press out any air bubbles. Okay. Ferment at room temperature for at least five days before eating. Transfer to the fridge about uh, after the five days and ferment up to six weeks or until the bubbling stops. So now there's another set of directions here. Fermentation crock user guide. And so they include all these things, blah, blah, blah. When you want to begin the fermentation process, cover the vegetables with at least four centimeters of broth. If there is not enough juice, add some water or broth. Yeah, I probably should add some water because there's juice, but not that much juice. Four centimeters. It just makes the um it just makes the cabbage float, so I don't know. I'm just gonna add the weights. Oh, maybe you're supposed to check the water level after the weights go down. Oh my god. Am I supposed to like not let the stuff go to the top? Just be a little more cautious here. Okay. So we'll take a look, see at what this looks like. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to clean out this the cabbage that fell in this crack here. Okay, so I've cleaned out the lip here. 
the rice cooker is being noisy. So this is what this looks like. There's a, a lip around here and I've got the, the two ceramic weights down in there and there's some water over the top. So that's what that looks like. And then there's a little lip here. And I'm probably just gonna make a huge mess. Okay. Okay, there's water in there. And then you're supposed to keep water in there so that it doesn't, you know, as it evaporates, you need to keep filling it up so that there's the seal is there. Okay, I'm waiting five more days. Okay, dudes, so it's been eight days. It uh, was Wednesday when I did this and it's Thursday now. My family in Colorado said that they have been doing 12 days. So um, I may make this go longer in the future. Uh, one thing to note is that I was kind of thinking that the salt was just some sort of a flavoring thing, but the salt, I guess, is important for the type of bacteria that can survive in a saline environment and an anaerobic environment. And so the amount of salt is important, but I did get enough salt in here. I calculated it out. Uh, I think you're supposed to have like at least 2% salt or something like that. And based on the weight of the cabbage, I had like 3% salt. So hopefully that's okay. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. I had a hard time keeping the water like I forgot for a while to put water in here, but I think that the seal was okay. There's still a little bit of water in there. Oh. Let's take a look. So there's um, cabbage floating on top. I wonder if that's not okay. I probably should have, it says to shred it finely. And then if they were longer pieces, it would probably be pinned down by the ceramics. And I wonder if the one's floating on top there, if that's a problem. Okay, here I go, pulling out the ceramic pieces. <laughs> um, how, did, how do we do this one-handed? And the other ceramic piece. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm just making a mess. Uh, I don't think this, oh, there's a phone. I thought it was not like um, focusing. That's what it looks like. Okay, so should I um, taste a little bit of this stuff? I'm just taste a little bit in case there's something wrong with it so that I'll just get really sick instead of die. That was really good. It could go longer. Yeah, I could see where it could be more sour. I think the next batch I'll make it go longer, but for now, oh, shit. Now I've got my um, bacteria for my mouth in this thing. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop this stuff out of here. And I'm gonna put it in these two Pyrex uh, containers and I um, sterilize with them with boiling water so hopefully there's no like bad bacteria that will want to grow. be able to get all of it in one of these containers but that's not the case and I have plastic lid to go on top and 
you can store this for weeks, supposedly in the refrigerator. It slows down the fermentation. And that's really cool. I don't know how long this will last me. Anyway, I don't know why sometimes I do these videos when I'm first doing something and messing everything up, but it does give me um, a record of what I started with. So if I may, want to make some changes to how I'm doing this in the future, then I'll know where I started. So um, I've kind of got to figure out, depending on how many pounds of cabbage I'm doing or whatever other vegetable, how much salt I need to go in with it so that I can kind of just say, yeah, I can get the salt proportion correct. But this is really easy. The only thing I just have to remember to pour water into the lip to keep that seal. And um, otherwise, um, making sauerkraut is really easy. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Sauerkraut on top of my stew. And did I use about a quarter of the pan? 